So, Izzy, I understand you've got a new gig. I do. I do have a new gig. Um, big project. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, basically, uh, your hero and mine, mm-hmm. um, uh, South Australia Senator Corey Venardi, uh, has uh, released a new book. Now, he's come out fairly strong. He's clearly defined himself as being pro-family. Pro-life. Pro-religion. And uh, pro-freedom freedom in the workplace. And how could you possibly argue with that? I you mean, can't. You shouldn't. You won't. You won't. Everyone loves families, for a start. Everyone loves families. All families. No, not all families. We've got a definition of family. We have a, a we have a decent definition of families, and this is this is important. It's important. This book is all about decency. It's about new conservatism, and it's about a rallying call of conservatism. It's about coming back to family values, proper decent. Christian family values, and um, so when we're talking about family, we're talking about a proper family, not not a made up family of of, of stuff and people that are, are weird. And I say weird, and I mean homosexual or black. Mm. Um, what I'm talking about is a family that's made up of a man and his possessions. Yeah. So traditional, something everyone supports. Oh, yeah. Much like his pro-life agenda. Yes. Because, as he said, abortion, nothing but a death industry. Death it industry. doesn't protect uh, women's health. No. No, it actually doesn't protect the general well-being of society. Not society. It increases crime. Hmm. Oh, hang on, no. It does actually the opposite of all of those things. But However, it's decent is it's what we're talking decent. about. It's decency. And, of course, he's very big on protection from the moment... Of conception. Of conception. Right up till the moment of birth. Right. Absolute protection. And we've got videos. But it stops at birth, because actually supporting someone after birth, communism. It's dirty. Communism. Dirty. And much as he supports the family, the heterosexual married, male, female, children, he's really serious about it, in as much as if there happens to be a breakdown in that marriage, all over. No support. No, well, I mean, because if you support bloody um, families that have broken up, you're basically t- teaching her that, you know, if it gets a bit rough around the house, she can bail out whenever she wants. And that is not the kind of attitude that we're trying to instill in our things, what they call them, girls. Mm. <clears throat> so, like, for instance, there is a breakfast program run by the Red Cross in Australia. Those hippies. That Bernardi thinks should be gotten rid of because the idea of a family that's too poor to provide breakfast for their children, if you give those children breakfast, they'll never learn. They won't learn. And besides, make bitches slovenly. Yep. Why would they go back to the husband if you offer them an alternative? If they're just going to get fed. Yeah. If they're just going to, like, live somewhere. The idea of feeding people, how communist can you get? What is that? It's some kind of weird Russian socialist thing with Chinese inscrutable eyes giving it a bit of something racist. Now, I'm particularly fond, Corey is pushing there should be more religion in politics. We're bereft. There should be more religion. We should have religion in everything. In everything. But not Islam. No, it's not a... No. A proper religion. Hang on. So we're declaring... Religion. Religion. Proper religion. Asterisk, maybe? Well, no, just big, um, well, asterisk, but I think um, big proper capital letters. Roman capital letters, not squiggly backwards writing. So he's going to support your religion Mm. so long as your religion is his religion. Yeah. See, if his religion gets to dictate every aspect of your life, good and proper. That's right. Any other religion has any influence at all? That's collapse, wrong. collapse of society. Wrong. I mean, wrong. you know, they put their women in bags, and that's yeah. just the Buddhists. So, okay, so he's clearly got down, and his biggest thing for me that I support: freedom in the workplace. In the workplace, free of regulations imposed by government, by communist governments, free of interference from unions. Oh, those dirty welfare lazinesses on. They're just trying to kill society. Yep. So as he rightly points out, why shouldn't a boss and an employee be able to have a private arrangement with no interference from government, unions, unions. minimum wage, safety standards, those no, things that, are all fluff. That's, you know, these are things of the past. And for instance, if 
all of the workers decide they want the same thing that they want to negotiate with their boss who doesn't want it. And those workers collectively decide, well, we're going to withdraw our labour uh, until you come to a compromise. Would the government get involved then? I, no, they should get involved. That's not how it's supposed to work. Send in the police, I think. I'd send in the army. So I think what we have here finally is saying someone saying what we've all wanted to say. If we could get back to white men born to rule in charge of everyone and everything, life would be so much better. You'd all be happier. Who wouldn't be happy in a situation like that? Don't I know Chris we'd be happy. We'd be happy. And if we'd be happy, if Corey Bernardi would be happy, if Tony Abbott would be happy, who are you to not be happy? Suck my cock. Yeah, okay? So let's just get back to a decent, traditional, white Christian males in charge of everything and everyone, and life's just going to be better.